Inside this little tiny case from TH3D is a huge upgrade. I'm going to show you how to install it on your Bamboo Lab printer and it's going to change everything. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. That's right, in this case is an LED kit that is ready to go for your Bamboo Lab printers. It'll work on the X1 and the P1 series. Everything is ready to go in this little tiny case. It comes with everything you need, no soldering required. It's all plug and play and is crazy simple to install. That's right, it is really gonna brighten your day. <laughs> That one was for Brian Vines. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. But it is really going to make this thing shine, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> there are people out there probably wondering why the heck I would do this. And the answer is because the stock light that comes on our X1 and our P1 series isn't really that bright. I'll show you later in the video a comparison between the two. But I already put this on a couple printers and it makes a world of a difference. And today I wanted to show you what kind of difference it makes and how to install it. So let's go. So I'm here with Neo, and this is the very first X1 Carbon that I ever had. It's time to make this thing shine, quite, quite literally actually. The first thing you need to do is make sure your printer is turned off. And I like to pull the power out just to be safe. You don't want any shocking arcs or any of that stuff going on when we're playing with the wiring. It's just one, cable that we're going to be pulling out and putting back in, but let's be safe about it. Now what we need to do is take our AMS off the top. If you have room on this side of your printer, you can actually just set your AMS right down carefully like this right here. Make sure you're not stretching your Bowden tube or the cables, but it will set down next to the printer if you do it right and kind of angle the back towards the printer. Then we want to take our top glass off, so I'm going to take that off and set it behind me. And once we get this far, we're ready to jump into the install. Now grab yourself some isopropyl alcohol. I prefer uh, 90 to 99% if you can, and a microfiber cloth if you have one. If you don't, uh, paper towels will work. Just be careful not to leave a bunch of fibers behind. A microfiber is better for this, but you gotta use what you have, and if you have a paper towel, go for it. I'm not gonna judge it. Pop that front door open like this. And then we're going to spray the alcohol on our microfiber towel. And then we're going to wipe the inside of the printer where we're going to stick down the new LEDs. That's going to be on the side back here. We're going to pull the whole head forward. I like to kind of push it all the way forward if you can do that. And then we're going to go underneath this back lip under here. And then on the side, we're going to go underneath uh, underneath this back lip all in here. Once you have it all wiped down and dry, then we need to come to the side behind the screen. If you're looking at the printer, it'll be your left side. On the inside, there's a little electronics door that kind of flaps right open, and we're gonna pull that open at this time. Once you pull it open, inside you're gonna see a bunch of wires, but we're gonna look for the one that only has two, and mine are black and red. It's the one that is kind of right here. Once you see that, if it has any hot glue, you can pull it off. And at this time, you can actually disconnect that wire. Now it's time to grab our kit from TH3D. And this one is for the X1 series, as you can see right there. Inside the kit, we get our uh, strip lights here, which are right there. We get four cable clips, just like that. And a nice little case if you want to put your business cards in there when you're done. Each of the LED strips on these do have uh, 3M adhesive here. Each of the three LED strips that you get in this set have 3M adhesive. That's going to help this stick really nice to our printer. And like I said, we get four clips to help us cable manage as well. So let's get this installed. Now we want to take our uh, strips and find the end just like that. And this little end on our LED strips is going to plug into where we unplugged the other lights. And it should really only go in there one way, but just be careful. You don't want to shove it in uh, backwards or anything. You don't want to wreck that uh, part on the board, but it should go in there just like that, pretty much one way. And then we are going to hold this wire and we're gonna close that door around it so that the wire comes out of the back out this way. So you now, you, now you're left with the wire here. From here, we just need to situate our LED lights. So I'm going to put mine somewhere in this area right here. Um, probably about right there. And you can, you can put the wire underneath here 
to kind of hold it. And then I think I'm gonna go about right there. So flip it over, you already cleaned the plastic up. I want to peel off that protective coating on the 3M tape like that, and that'll expose the tape. Then I'm gonna kind of position it to where, where I wanted it. I like mine nice and straight. We're gonna go right about right there and just press down on your LEDs. Not too hard, don't crush them, but it shouldn't hurt them to make sure it's nice and solid right there. Your first one's on, let's go on to the second one. So the second one is where we're gonna use our, our first little cable clip, uh, cable tie kind of thing. Uh, these are cable clips, they, they kind of keep cables out of the way of things. And we're gonna use that here. So you wanna take and peel off the tape from the back like that. And you wanna tuck this thing up underneath here as far as it'll go and just make sure it's nice and tucked up underneath so it's it's sticking face you know bottom faced up take your finger underneath push it up on there make sure it sticks really good and then we're going to bring our wire around like this <laughs> i got it i definitely got a little close it's okay to make mistakes so i'm just going to pull it down i'm going to move it over just a little bit to like right there um, hold your wires with your thumb over here and then push with your finger and they'll go in. There we go. So now once they're secured in there, they're not gonna get hit by your cable chain. And we're gonna go on top of this uh, like Bowden coupler tube right there. And we're gonna go right on top, just like that. And this is where we're gonna start placing our second LED. For our second LED, we are going to place it up underneath of this lip right here. So this is the back of the LED. We're gonna go right up under here like this. And you wanna make sure that it's not too close to the corner, not way in the corner like that. I like to keep it out just a little bit. Um, so the end of the LED is about right here and right there. And I'll show this in a little while, but I think that's a really good place for it right up in there. I'm gonna pull the back off like we did before and peel that. And then I'm actually gonna stick it up as you can see, we're about right here. Hopefully the camera's getting a good shot of that. I want it as close to this outer edge here as I can get. I don't want it way up in there. I, I like it way up close to this edge right in here. That way it uh, will shine out a little bit more. So I'm gonna push that in and make sure it's nice and tight up underneath there. I'm gonna make sure this cable out over here that came out is tucked up like this. That way it's out of the way and it's nicely tucked up in there. This cable will come in like this. Uh, this cable chain here will come in, but it doesn't sit way back in there like that. It's not gonna hit that cable. So you should be okay. Uh, but if it droops down a little bit, just make sure it's up and out of the way. This cable clip does a really good job there. Um, I think I'm gonna to suggest to TH3D that they toss maybe a couple extra cable clips in here uh, for us to do this. Cause I really would like to see another one right up in here, probably underneath here. For our third LED, we are gonna put it right up along the right side of the printer right here. This is where the second one is. So I turned the printer this way. So this is where the second one is right over here. And I'm gonna put my third one right up underneath this lip. So I'm gonna peel the back off the third LED I'm going to place it where I think I'm going to want it, which is against this outer edge again, about right there. So it's right under here. You can see where the cable goes up and it's closest to this edge as I can get it right under here. So I'm going to press that to make it stick just like this. So this is where the last three cable clips come into play. We need to get these three cable clips up along this lip right here to hold this wire out because the cable chain will come into this channel. So we're gonna get three cable clips along here to hold these wires up and out of the way of that cable chain. And once we do that, our installation will be done. Okay, so here's what I did. I got one pretty much right after this uh, seam you can see in the foam up here, right underneath, and that catches right around the corner. Then I did another one, maybe a two inches, uh, inch and a half, two inches out from that one right here. And then I did another one much closer over here because we're gonna need to take up all of this slack and I'm gonna double this back into this cable clip. 
So how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to push, I'm gonna pull the slack, I'm gonna push it into the cable clip like that. And then you'll see a loop right here. I'm actually going to double that loop back and push it all into that cable clip. Now this will get it up out of the way of our cable chain and we'll test that in a second. And it looks nice and clean under there. It looks really good. So everything is nicely cable managed right under here and our last LED sits right here. That's gonna shine down really nice. I like that, so let's put this all back together and see what it looks like. Now that we got the LEDs installed, which was pretty dang easy, we need to put this thing back together, turn it on, and see what it looks like. We'll start with the top, so we'll plop the top back on if you're using an X1, and then we'll drop the AMS right back on top wherever you prefer it. I like mine a little farther towards the rear of my printer, but it's totally personal preference. Now it's time to turn this thing on and see how much it lights up. So I flip the switch. In a second here, it should boot up and we can see right inside the printer. That looks pretty good. Let's pop this door open. And that is pretty dang bright. So I ran and grabbed another X1 Carbon and we're going to set them next to each other and compare a stock light versus the upgraded TH3D set. So I just got it plugged in. I'm gonna flip it on right now and we're gonna watch to see how bright it is through the door. You can see this side is the upgraded TH3D version of the LED lights and for $13.99, I really don't think it's too bad. On this side, uh, it should kick on any second. Oh, I'm looking, it is on actually. It's very hard to tell, but it is on. Let me pop the front doors open. Let me pop these front doors open so you guys can see a difference that, oh wait. Let me pop these front doors open so you can see a difference. So both lights are on. You can see the stock light shows on my hand and it's right here along the side. And the TH3D version, bam, there's light everywhere. I really like this, it looks really good. It is definitely an upgrade over the stock printer. All right, for this next test, I grabbed this really awesome clock spring print I have. It is in black and it's uh, galaxy black. I grabbed this because it was dark and it's gonna be kind of hard to see with not a lot of light. So I'm gonna toss it in just like there. That's the stock printer. And if we look right here, it's kind of hard to see. You can see it, you can catch a, a kind of a reflection off this way right here but it's kind of hard to see in there. Now, if I take it and put it over into the TH3D upgraded version, you can see much, much more light. I can see light from all sides now, which is really nice up from the top and then from around here. Uh, it's it just all together, much better to see your models. Now, I kind of wish there was a way to get both lights working. I would like to see the extra light with the stock light coming on along with the TH3D lights. That would be pretty cool. I don't know if it would do a lot, but it would do something. And I think that uh, that would be pretty cool to see. But as you can see, this is much, much better even for darker prints. I should also mention that they do make kits for the P series, so the P1P and the P1S. It is almost identical installation with the exception of where you plug the light in in the front of the printer. It's actually right behind the screen. I'll show that while we're talking right here. And then where you actually install the LEDs, the first one wouldn't go along that panel because there is no panel on the P1P. It would actually go up underneath the extrusion like we did the second two on the X1 Carbon, but on the first rail. So same spot, just up underneath that extrusion instead of on the side. I think it's awesome because it adds light if you don't have any extra light around your P1P. And for the P1S, it's enclosed. So just like the X1 series, you're gonna get some awesome light inside that case. So real quick, I wanna jump in and just let you guys know, I actually purchased these kits. I jumped on TH3D's website, which there'll be a link in the description below, and I bought these kits. He did not give them to me. They were not uh, sent to me for a video or a review or anything like that. I actually bought them because I saw how they worked and I really thought they'd be great kits. At only $13.99, it is actually a very good bargain for the extra light you get. You can still see in this one really good right now, even though you're kind of angled from the camera, and I'm really impressed by that. Are there other things you could do to make it brighter inside of your printers? Absolutely. There are a ton of different printed uh, brackets and lifters and risers and AMS risers and LED kits and all of that 
out there that you can print for any of your Bamboo Lab printers to add light to them. These kits I really like because not only are they only about 10 minutes to install each, which is phenomenal because I don't have a ton of time, I don't have to print all the other stuff. Is it cool to have that other stuff? Sure, the brackets are great, the risers are really cool, but to be honest with you, all I wanna do is see better inside that printer, and this allows me to get it done super cheap and very fast. I don't have to cut any LEDs myself, I don't have to solder anything, everything comes ready to go. You literally just plug it in and stick them on. That's it, it is so easy. So in my opinion, yes, these are 100% worth it. And for the price you pay for these, you really get everything you need. Again, there's a link in the description below. And I did talk to Tim. He just got a shipment in of these. I think he got 100 kits each. I have to double check that but I believe he got 100 kits in or 100 kits each for the P1 series and for the X1 series. And that's it. The first round of these sold out in his shop. And this is the chance to get in on the second round before he has to reorder. And then you're waiting a few weeks to try to find them later. So jump in there now if you wanna grab some, cause this is a great time to do that. And let me know in the comments below if you think this is a really cool upgrade or maybe not so much. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, anything to help my printing experience better is a good upgrade to me. And I really love that you get this much light. So let me know again in the description what you think. Is this upgrade worth it or not so much? Is there a better kit out there? Cause I'd love to hear that. But uh, I definitely think you should check these out. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe if you have not already done that. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And if you wanna see more Bamboo Lab upgrades, you gotta check out this video right here.